The Sunday following Thanksgiving was the busiest travel day in U.S. history. So if you're planning on traveling for Christmas this year, there's a few things you should keep in mind. Albert J. Ellis Airport saw a 4.5% increase on Thanksgiving. And over 2019, that's grown by 7%. This year, peak travel days fall on the weekend, so you can expect crowded airports. We have a very good economy, very low unemployment, so people are feeling good and probably being more generous at, at Christmas time as well, and therefore more likely to go travel. White says people who don't travel frequently travel during the holidays, and it could be the only trip they take a year. Passenger volume at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport is predicted to reach a record-breaking 1.2 million travelers for the month of December. Give yourself plenty of extra time. That's the key, the key thing with all travel, especially during the holidays, and be prepared for the unexpected. White says for smaller commercial airports like OAJ, it is recommended to be there an hour beforehand and to start to familiarize yourself with your connecting airport. You can read ahead, look at the map of that airport, and understand where you may be coming in and going from. For larger airports, it is important to give yourself at least two hours. It's your boarding pass online and to sign up for the automatic updates that the airlines allow you to do. Online updates can quickly notify passengers of flight delays, gate changes or cancellations, so keep your devices charged. Be familiar with the TSA requirements and at TSA.gov, make sure you don't you don't pack your travel documents, your important medications or keys in your checked luggage. Other requirements include not wrapping gifts until arrival, and if you're bringing a baked good, check with the TSA agents first. White says when you're shopping for gifts to also think about how you'll pack them and that gift cards are the smartest presents for flyers. In Jacksonville, Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side.